Hi, I'm Tom Biancooli. I'm the Chief Technology Officer here at Zebra Technologies. Yeah, so in retail, we see two main opportunities for particularly brick and mortar retailers. Uh, the first is to create what we call digital empathy or bespoke shopping experiences, recognizing that every shopper is unique when they visit the store and there's uh, personalized services and experiences that can be delivered to them. The second is to be able to react and deliver in an increasingly on-demand world. We're seeing you know, the production and provision of products and services ever closer to the point of demand, uh, being able to deliver in someone's moment of need. And so the technology that's powering all of that, if that's, if that's what we're after, is to create digital empathy and to be, deliver, be able to deliver in an on-demand world, then the technology components that power that are mobility, uh, internet of things, and data analytics. And so we're seeing an increase um, in the penetration of mobile devices, applications that allow for omni-channel fulfillment and the mobilization of order management systems in store. Uh, we're also seeing smart infrastructure be deployed, whether it be location technologies, video, RFID technology to drive up the accuracy of inventory levels in store, to be able to track capital assets, and to be able to track people, whether they be shoppers uh, that opt in or they become, uh, I'm sorry, or their store staff. So being able to track the process around people, assets, inventory, put that all together into a composite picture so the retailer can deliver in an on-demand world. And so an example of this would be uh, using a, a smart lens type solution, which takes RFID video and um, an ultrasonic location and combines that together to drive inventory levels up from, say, 60 to 70 percent to over 90 percent. And in several pilots we're in, that's enabled uh, those endpoint stores to now become fulfillment centers. And um, as we're all seeing in retail, that's also becoming an imperative to leverage the last mile proximity of retailers to customers to be able to fulfill from store. And you can't do that unless you've got the inventory accuracy uh, to be able to deliver in an on-demand way. Uh, and you've got the flexibility to offer multiple delivery modalities to a shopper when they're in store, when they're online, and maybe even carry the experience from, um, from, from online at home to when they arrive in the store. Um, and so really in summary, we're looking at taking a click stream, making a, a click stream for the physical store, uh, basically taking online analytics and bringing them to the offline world in an on-demand real-time way. Yeah. Yeah. So we're entering an increasingly on-demand world where we're seeing the production and provision of products and services ever closer to the point of demand. Being able to fulfill a customer's need the moment it arises. Um, as a result, that's put uh, extreme pressures on the uh, transportation channel. Uh, being able to get the right goods uh, to the right person delivered in the right way as quickly as possible. And certainly we're seeing in urban areas, those delivery times go down to 60 minutes. And so, and even less. And to be able to deliver on that expectation in a cost-effective way, uh, we're seeing the adoption of predictive shipping. Uh, so this is the notion of tracking what you're doing online. Maybe you're hovering over a product, uh, something one of our colleagues calls uh, digital drooling, if you will, uh, hovering over that product. But you haven't clicked it, you haven't purchased it, but the likelihood of you going back and doing that uh, increases the more times you go and visit that particular product online. So all of that data is collected from a, from a uh, cursor hovering perspective. And based on certain uh, inflection points in that uh, information, the goods are shipped even before you order them. So now they arrive at a destination near your home, and the moment you go and order, that good can be delivered to you in that 60-minute window, window, but at the cost point of um, the shipping costs that would normally be charged for a several-day delivery because it was predictably or anticipatorily shipped. Uh, so this is where we see um, e-commerce going. Uh, where we see expectations of uh, shoppers and consumers going to a very on-demand and uh, the kinds of technologies that retailers and, and uh, in particular e-commerce retailers are using to be able to deliver on those expectations.